Hey, what is up you guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clickable Game Pass button in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. First off, then you're going to want to, of course, get into Roblox Studio, okay? And after you're in Roblox Studio, then you're going to have to make a new base play or whatever you're on, okay? And then you're going to go over to the Explorer tab right here. You're going to scroll down all the way to Starter GUI, okay? After that, then you're going to press on the little plus button, okay? Then it shows GUI, and you're going to press on Screen GUI. Or Screen GUI. After you do that, then you're going to press on the next plus button right next to the Screen GUI that you just made, or GUI, I don't know how to say it. And after you do this, okay, then you're going to go down to the text button, okay? So you're going to click on the text button, okay, you can make it however big and all kinds of this kind of stuff if you want, okay, you can even make it that big, which I wouldn't, but <laughs> you can. So now, since I have my button, then I can go in, um, I can go and customize it and everything like that, so after I customize it, so after you have your button customized and everything like that, okay, then you're going to go back over to the text button, okay and you're going to click the little plus button again. After that, then you're going to search local, and you're going to click on local script, okay? Once you're in local script, then you want to delete this right here, okay? After you have deleted this, then you're going to want to probably type, well, you will want to type this, okay? But even if you do not want to type this out, then I will have a copy and paste thing in the description below. So if you do not want to, if you do not feel like typing it or want to type it, then you will have the chance to not type it. Okay, uh, um, you can just copy and paste it from the description. So the first thing that you're going to type is local player equals game dot players. Dot local player okay that is the first line of code okay we only have like five or six lines of code in this okay so the first line is done after you finish the first line of code then you're going to want to type this local button equals script dot parent Now the third line of code is a little bit more confusing, okay? But it's not too much more confusing. So after that, then you're going to type market place service equals game get service market place service. That is it for that line of code. Now you're going to want to skip a line and go to the fifth line, okay? And then you're going to want to type this. Script.parent.mouse button click. Mouse button one click. Connect function so after you have that line of code done then you'll be onto the final line of code okay and this is actually the hardest line of code to finish okay so you're going to want to type market place prompt game pass purchase and then you're going to want to do this, okay? You're going to put one of these things, I do not know what they're called. You're going to do player, comma, okay? And then after you do the comma, then this is the little bit of confusing part, okay? So, if I get onto my Roblox right now, if I log onto my Roblox profile right now, okay? And if I go to, say, I go to the donations, okay? Which is one of my other games, it's just a it's just a test basically okay and then 
if I go to add a pass, okay, and this right here, okay, and if I go to small donation and everything, then I, then I go up to the very top right here, okay, and it actually shows an ID number. Now, if you take this, okay, do not take the whole thing, just take the number, okay, now copy it, okay, and then you're going to want to paste it right into this easy as that okay and that is finished so now if you go back to your flat terrain and everything okay then I have the button okay and so if I test it I don't think it'll work in Roblox Studio but I'm pretty sure it'll work in the well it will work in the regular game Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going for 100 subscribers, so if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos on Roblox Studio, then this is the world that we will be using. So, come back around, okay? We will be doing more coding. If this gets, say, if this gets 5 likes, then I will make another then I'll make another video on how to make a clickable button, okay? And that would be pretty insane because that's that's how, say, in Bubblegum Simulator, then they do, all, whenever you click on the pet button, then it shows all your pets. That is what that will do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye.